Hello and good day, everybody. This is Kyla, and this is The State of Health. Today, we're delving into the world of COVID variants. Imagine you're at a party and a new face walks in. You're probably going to be curious, right? That's how we feel about the new COVID variant, EG5, that's been catching everyone's attention recently. This variant burst onto the scene in the United States in August and quickly became the main character. It's like the popular kid who walks into that party and within no time, everyone is talking about him. The World Health Organization has labeled our party crasher, EG5, as a variant of interest, which is sort of like saying it's the new person in town with an intriguing backstory, and it's gaining popularity. But should we be worried about this new kid on the block? If you're picturing a grizzled villain waiting to cause havoc, let me reassure you. According to experts, EG5 isn't any more of a threat than the other major characters already circulating at our party. It's not brandishing any weapons we've never seen before, it's mostly behaving like the variants we've already met. EG5 was first spotted in China in February 2023 and was detected in the United States two months later. It's descended from the Omicron variant family tree and it's got an interesting feature, a mutation that helps it slip past the bouncer at the party, the antibodies our bodies developed in response to earlier variants and vaccines. This little party trick might be why it's become so popular worldwide and might explain the recent increase in COVID cases. But fear not partygoers, diagnostic tests and treatments such as Paxlovid can still recognize and combat EG5. It's like having a secret handshake that still works even though EG5 has a clever disguise. So while EG5 might be intriguing, it's not the villain we need to be overly worried about. However, there are some new faces at the party that we should keep a closer eye on. These are the emerging variants carrying a similar mutation to EG5, plus an extra mutation that gives them a VIP pass to transmit easily. These sneaky characters have been nicknamed FLIP by scientists because they both flip the positions of two amino acids, labeled F and L. While these FLIP variants are currently just a small group at our party, they could invite more friends and increase their numbers in the coming months. There's another newcomer at the party we should watch out for, BA-286. This variant is like EG5's distant cousin, but it carries a lot more mutations, especially in the spike protein, the outfit the virus wears to get into the party. These mutations have scientists a bit wary, but remember, we shouldn't panic. There are a lot of possibilities, and we don't have all the data yet. For all we know, this variant might not mingle well and never become a major player at our party. So, as we keep an eye on these new partygoers, let's remember to stay informed and vigilant. Anyways, friends, that is going to do it for today's State of Health. If you enjoyed this, please do me such a huge favor. Click those like and subscribe buttons, and if you're listening as a podcast, go consider leaving a review or a five-star rating. Don't forget to check out stateofhealth.care for more relevant medical news and content. Until next time, keep your curiosity peaked and your stethoscope close.